Welcome to the Philippines Premier Motor Show. This is Autofocus. I'm Ray Louis Gamboa. Here are our features on this edition of your electronic magazine, exclusive to the automobile and its industry. Starting off with reviews of two vehicle models presently in the local market. A seven-seater SUV from Geely, the Oka Vanka Urban, and a compact sports car from BMW, the 318i Sport. Plus, they feature the feature comparison of two 4x4 pickup trucks, the Ford Ranger Wildtrak versus the Isuzu D-Max LSC. On Autopedia, we'll talk about a vehicle shock absorbers. And together with the latest news and developments in the local auto industry, we shall have the launch of the all-new Honda Civic as our special feature. The next 60 minutes is all about the automobile. This is all of focus. And we'll be right back after this short break. I think my dad is secretly a superhero. He's the coolest, smartest, strongest person alive. No matter where we go, he always makes sure I feel safe. And he isn't afraid of anything. My dad likes to call that the power to lead. I call it his superpower. Sa pinakamatatinding krisis at sakuna, isang mukha ang parating nakikita. Nakatutok sa solusyon. Kahit noon pa man, parating mabilis ang tugon. Yan ang tapat na pinuno. Lenny Robredo, gobyernong tapat ang at buhay lahat. Mitsubishi Strata Athlete, confident to the core. Kailangan ng maaasahan, kailangan ng matibay, pang matagalan kasama mo sa pag-unlad ng negosyo, modernong disenyo, kaya-kaya ang cargo mo, nang tatak na ito. Isuzu Trap is level up with Isuzu, level up mo ang iyong negosyo. Isuzu Trap is level up Welcome back to Autofocus, the automobile show. We start this edition of your electronic magazine with a review of one of the latest automobile models from Geely. This edition of Car Review takes a look at the Okavango Urban, the middle variant of Geely Philippines' entry in the highly competitive local 7-seater MPV SUV market. Geely Philippines is steadily growing its presence in the local crossover, SUV and MPV markets with a lineup that includes the Cool Ray, the Ascara, and the Oka Vango. While the Cool Ray is Geely's bestseller, the Ascara and the Oka Vango are benefiting from the subcompact crossover's surprising success, helping generate awareness and interest for Geely's bigger models. The Oka Vango in particular got to be mentioned in the mix of good value for money options in the midsize 7 seater MPV SUV market. When first launched, the Oka Vango is touted by Geely as a game changing entry in the segment dominated by Toyota's Innova. Indeed, the Oka Vango had the looks the Geely's distinctive expanding Cosmos grille, space, technology, and comfort and convenience features to get serious consideration from those looking for 7 seater MPVs or SUVs. At 4,835mm long, 1,900mm wide and 1,785mm tall with a 2,185mm long wheelbase and 194mm ground clearance, the Oka Vango straddles that thin divide between MPV and SUV. Geely first brought in two trim levels of the Oka Vango, a Comfort and Urban, and later rolled out the Urban Plus, which mainly just added a 60-inch panoramic sunroof plus upgrades to headlamps and digital instrument panel. But this car review is all about the Geely Oka Vanco Urban, which comes with all LED lighting fixtures, headlamps with automatic control, and daytime running lights, front and rear fog lamps. The lift gate in the Urban is powered for greater convenience. So are the side mirrors that are heated and out of folds. The rear spoiler comes with a center high mount stop lamp. Differentiating the Urban from the Comfort are chromed outside door handles and roof rails, as well as the two tone aluminum alloy wheels wrapped by 225 55 R18 tires.
the Okavanga interior looks and feels premium, with soft surfaces strategically placed among the hard plastics. This is especially true in the Urban even with the PVC leather upholstery. In the Urban, both driver and front passenger seats are powered 6 ways for the driver and 4 ways for the passenger. The expansive center console with the shifter, electronic parking brake control look classy and high-tech and functional all at the same time. The double layer console hides a good sized cubby hole. Up front is a dash with a 12.3 inch digital instrument cluster as well as the 10.3 inch touchscreen multimedia with the QD link for smart connectivity with mobile phones. The system allows for playing of music and video, and is integrated with 360-degree view cameras that should help with parking and dealing with narrow lanes and ramps that are the bane of driving long and wide MPVs. The second row has three individual seats that can fold separately. The third row seat for two splits and folds 50-50. The second and third row seats fold completely to provide as much as 2,050 liters of space for luggage and other cargo. With 19 seat configurations, the Okavanka provides a lot of possible options for taking on passengers and cargo. Complementing this are the 42 storage nooks and compartments that make the Okavanko just perfect for family trips, especially for those with children which come with the IS. Making it comfortable in long drives is a triple zone air conditioning system that comes with ceiling vents for the third row. The Okavanko is among the first to equip its air conditioning system with CN95 filters, perfect for these COVID-19 times. All Okavanka variants are powered by the same mild hybrid powertrain that features a 1.5-liter turbocharged 3-cylinder gasoline engine and 48-volt electric motor synergy system that together generates a maximum of 190 horsepower and 300 Nm of torque. This hybrid engine sends power to the front wheels via a 7-speed wet dual-clutch transmission system. Despite being a fuel-saving mild hybrid system powering a large-ish and heavy-ish people carrier, the Okavango can be a perky drive-in sport mode, one of three modes drivers can set, the others being Eco where the engine earns off while coasting and comfort. The suspension system featuring front McPherson struts and torsion beams in the rear absorbs road imperfections well enough, body roll and switchbacks are minimized. Ride and handling is best described as solid and predictable on the light and easy side with linear stopping power provided by an all-wheel disc brake system, ventilated in front and solid in the rear. It's a common theme in today's almost cutthroat competition for vehicle sales, but the Okavanko does a superb job of providing as much top-end comfort and convenience driver assist and safety tech and features for every peso in the SRP. The Okavanko Urban comes with push start and yes, remote start, if you like the engine warmed up by the time you get inside. It is also equipped with an anti-lock brake system with electronic brake force distribution, full descent control, electronic stability control, immobilizer, and tire pressure monitor. Aside from the 3-point ELR seat belts for all, the Urban also comes with dual airbag, side and credit airbag, isofix anchors, and rear parking sensors. Finally, Geely is confident enough about the build quality of the Urban as well as its other offerings to offer a 5-year and 150,000 km warranty. The number of Geely Okavango now on the road is a sure sign that hybrids can now be considered part of the mainstream. The latest auto industry news and developments right after this break. I think my dad is secretly a superhero. He's the coolest, smartest, strongest person alive. No matter where we go, he always makes sure I feel safe. And he isn't afraid of anything. My dad likes to call that the power to lead. I call it his superpower. To overtake the world, we all need a sense of greatness. Greatness that's powerful enough to change the world. Greatness that exudes intelligence. and a taste for style. That's greatness accelerated. The all-new Honda Civic, now with Honda Sensing.
Introducing the all-new Isuzu D-MAX into new heights. Welcome back to Autofocus. We now have the latest auto industry news. The new BMW 520i Luxury has arrived, touted as an embodiment of style and practicality and a progressive addition to the premium end of the executive sedan class. SMC Asia Car Distributors Corporation President Spencer Yu says the BMW 520i Luxury arrived with features only found in the higher tiers of the luxury car market. We are starting the year quite strong, no? With the immediate launch of the quintessential business sedan, which is the BMW 5 Series. And uh, we are bringing you today the 520i uh, in luxury trim. This car is uh, loaded with a lot of features which are normally found in uh, more expensive cars. No? These include the Dakota leather seats, Amit lighting package, and Ford Zone automatic air conditioning, and open port fine wood interior trip. He adds that the wide variety of innovations in the new arrival, a 12.3 inch digital instrument cluster display, a BMW Live Cockpit Professional in Operating System 7.0 with BMW Gesture Control makes it immensely competitive at its price point. Our target market for the, the new 5 Series will be the trailblazers and the change makers in any industry. Uh, as the car makes a very strong statement uh, about the individual driving it. You know? A 184 horsepower engine with twin turbo power technology made it an 8 speed Steptronic transmission takes the BMW 520i luxury from 0 to 100 kilometers per hour in 7.9 seconds. Priced at 4.29 million pesos, the new BMW 520i luxury comes with a comprehensive 5 year or 200,000 kilometer warranty. Now with the introduction of the updated 5 series, the 2022 5 series, I'd like to invite all your viewers to uh, visit any one of our showrooms. Yeah, we have three showrooms in Metro Manila. We have uh, one in Divis, one in Green Hills, and uh, one in Quezon City. Plus, we also have uh, in the provincial dealers, we have Pampanga and Cebu. You can take a look at the 2022 5 Series there. Uh, what we can assure you is all our showrooms are continuously practicing uh, all the safety protocols. No? Peugeot Philippines is looking to step up its game in 2022 with a new distributor, Astara. Astara, one of the biggest automotive distributors in Europe and Latin America, recently partnered with Stellantis, one of the leading global automakers where the Peugeot brand is housed. The new partnership is energizing Peugeot Philippines as it builds momentum in the country with great vehicles and after-sales service, said brand head Maricar Parco. This 2022, Filipinos can expect a bigger, better, and bolder Peugeot as we forge partnerships and unveil new products. At Peugeot, engineers and designers create vehicles to the highest standards that provoke intense emotions through a stimulating and fulfilling driving experience. We are committed to bringing a more elevated and distinguished driving experience to Filipinos, powered by groundbreaking technology, a seamless customer journey, and excellent after-sales service. According to Christoph Musi, Stellantis Senior Vice President for ASEAN and General Distributors, Astara will bring to the Philippines a strong expertise in strategy implementation and a wealth of cross-market experience to realize the potential of Peugeot in the Philippines. In line with this, Peugeot has launched the new 5008 SUV, a premium 7-seater and the first of four models it plans to roll out this year. Powered by a 1.6-liter twin-scroll turbo high-pressure engine coupled to a 6-speed automatic transmission, generating 165 horsepower and 240 Nm of torque, the new Peugeot 5008 SUV is assembled at the Salantis Manufacturing Plant in Gurun, Malaysia. During the virtual launch, Peugeot Philippines Managing Director Raul Pesello has also announced plans for the year. Peugeot aims to further increase our presence in the country. From our current roster of dealers, we will be soon opening seven more across the country in an effort to serve more customers and be where our customers are. We are also looking at expanding our network of partners to strengthen our base and gain valuable insight for our continuous development. For a fresh and innovative start, we will also kick off our digital transformation at all levels by the second quarter of this year to ensure that transactions and operations are smoother and more robust. These changes will translate into a more streamlined internal system and better services for our customers. And lastly, but not least, we are very excited to announce that we will be launching a new vehicle lineup this year, 
which Filipinos can definitely anticipate. Honda has received six awards during the 10th anniversary celebration of the New Car Assessment Program for Southeast Asian Countries, or ASEAN NCAP. During the celebration, Honda received the most number of decade of vehicle awards handed out by ASEAN NCAP. These include Best Forward Facing Child Occupant Protection to Accord, Safety Technology Award to Civic, Excellent Award Consistent, 5 Star to City and Civic, and for the brand, the most 5 Star Cars 2012 to 2016 for Adult Occupant Protection and Best Road Safety Partner. Honda said that it will continue to provide safe and reliable vehicles and lead efforts to realize the goal of zero traffic collision fatalities involving Honda motorcycles and automobiles globally by 2050. Kia Philippines is staking its movement that inspires to the corporate world, looking to target fleet accounts and companies with car plans for executives. In launching Kia Corporate Care, Kia offers tailor-fit transportation solutions for companies who may be planning to build a fleet or offer car plans to valued personnel. Kia said companies can rest assured that they are getting top-notch vehicles recognized by prestigious award-giving bodies like JD Power and the World Car Awards, which assesses quality and performance, Euro NCAP, which evaluates vehicle safety, and Red Dot Award and IF Design Award, which rates style and design. Kia Corporate Care includes after-sale services that offer peace of mind, 5-year or 160,000 km warranty, and 24-7 roadside assistance, but only 3-year warranty and 3-year free 24-7 roadside assistance for the K2500. Readily available spare parts and customized packages tailored according to business needs. Those are the latest news and developments in the automotive industry. We shall take another short break. Stay with us. I'll be right back. I think my dad is secretly a superhero. He's the coolest, smartest, strongest person alive. No matter where we go, he always makes sure I feel safe. And he isn't afraid of anything. My dad likes to call that the power to lead. I call it his superpower. Sa mga tilik natin ngayon, hindi isa lang ang leader na magpapagaling sa ating mga suga. Kapag ang pinuno ay tapat, walang tiwali, walang mga api. Patas ang laban. Sapat ang kabuhayan. Thank you po. Sabay-sabay po nating tuparin ang ating mga pangarap para maging kulay rosas ang ating bukas. Kailangan ng maaasahan, kailangan ng matibay pang matagalan kasama mo sa pag-unlad ng negosyo, modernong disenyo, kaya-kaya ang kargo mo. Nagtatak na ito Isuzu Trap is level up with Isuzu Level up mo ang iyong negosyo Isuzu Trap is level up with Isuzu Level up with Isuzu Trap is Welcome back to Autofocus The country's premier automobile news and features electronic magazine Here's our feature-to-feature -feature comparison of the latest automobile models belong to the same category on head-to-head. -head. This edition of head-to-head -head pits the Ford Ranger Wildtrak 4x4 against the Isuzu D-Max LSE 4x4 in a spec-to-spec -spec comparo. There are now more 4x4 pickups in the local market than ever before, which would make it harder for buyers without brand preference or even with some modicum of brand loyalty to choose their next 4x4 pickup. A thorough respect the spec comparison help for those in the market for a 4x4 pickup, popular options are the Ford Ranger Wildtrak 4x4 and the Isuzu D-Max LSE 4x4. The Ford Ranger Wildtrak 4x4 is 5,354mm long, 1,860mm wide, and 1,848mm tall with a 3,220mm long wheelbase and a ground clearance of 232mm. The Wildtrak 4x4 comes with features that distinguishes it from other new Rangers. The Ranger 4x4 features headlamps, daytime running lamps, front fog lamps, and puddle lamps. 
The wild track is equipped with rain sensing wipers, power folding and power adjustable exterior mirrors with side turret indicators, tailgate lock and lift assist, side steps and roof rails, as well as 18 inch alloy wheels strapped by 26560 R18 tires. Another special feature of the Wild Track, which has a 1.3 ton maximum payload capacity, is a power roller shutter with anti pinch feature. The Isuzu D Max LSE 4x4 is 5,277 mm long, 1,880 mm wide, and 1,810 mm tall, with a 3,125 mm long wheelbase, with a 240 mm ground clearance. The top of the light D Max features thicker cladding front bumper guard and roof rails and rolls on 18-inch matte dark gray alloy wheels strapped by 26560 R18 all-terrain tires. It also comes in bi-LED projector type headlamps with automatic leveling and auto on-off function, LED daytime running lights, double LED rear combination lamps with light guide, and front and rear fog lamps. Other exterior features include side view mirrors with integrated trim lights that power adjust and fold, rain sensing wipers, and step board. The Wild Track 4x4 comes with smart keyless entry with push start button. Inside the double cab cabin are leather seats with exclusive Wild Track accents matching those on steering wheel. The driver's seat adjusts electronically, the front passengers adjust manually. The rear bench seat comes with fold down center armrest. The cabin features dual color 4.2 cluster screens on the dash and ambient lighting. The Wild Track is also equipped with power windows, sun visors with vanity mirrors, as well as auxiliary 12 volt power outlet and a 230 volt inverter in the rear console. The infotainment system comprises an 8-inch color touchscreen with Apple CarPlay and added auto, Bluetooth, Sync 3 with voice-activated controls, built-in navigation system, 3 USB ports, 1 mounted on the windshield, and 6 speakers. The D-MAX LEC comes standard with remote car lock and remote start engine functions. The cabin features leather-covered seats with the drivers capable of adjusting 8 ways, the second row seat for 3 splits and folds 60-40. The leather-wrapped steering wheel tilts and telescopes and features switches for audio, phone, and voice controls, driver assist systems, and multi-information display. It also comes with electronic power steering, dual-zone climate control with vents on rear console, instrument cluster with 4.2-inch electroluminescent multi-information display, and 12-volt accessory outlet. The infotainment system uses 10.1-inch touchscreen with Bluetooth, USB, auxiliary import, and 8 speakers. The Wild Track 4x4 is powered by a 2-liter bi-turbo diesel engine that generates 213 PS and 500Nm of torque sent to the rear wheels, or all four wheels when needed, by a 10-speed automatic transmission. It also comes with e-locking rear differential. The suspension system uses double wishbones with coil springs on the front wheels and leaf springs in the rear. The Ranger uses front ventilated discs and rear drums for brakes. The D-MAX LSE is powered by a 2,999cc 4-cylinder turbocharged and intercooled diesel engine that generates 190 horsepower and 450 Nm of torque. The LSE comes with 4x4 drive, 6-speed automatic transmission with sequential shift, transfer control switch, and aluminum rear drive shaft. The suspension system uses double wishbones with 12 spring and high-mounted upper control arm and stabilizer in front and long-span semi-elliptical soft ride deep spring in the rear. The brake system features ventilated disc and rear auto-adjust drums. Ford equipped the Wild Track with a host of driver assist and safety technologies that include anti lock brake system with electronic brake force distribution, pre collision assist with pedestrian detection, and autonomous emergency braking. It also comes in hill launch assist, hill descent control, lane keeping aid with lane departure warning, auto high beam control, electronic stability control with rollover mitigation and traction control, adaptive cruise control with forward collision alert, front and rear parking sensors, rear view cameras, and active park assist. Other Wild Track safety and security features include six airbags, ELR seat belts, child seat isofix anchorage points, and a volumetric burglar alarm system. The D-MAX comes with Isuzu's Advanced Driver Assist System or ADAS, a suite of driver assist technologies that include forward collision warning, autonomous emergency brake, adaptive cruise control with manual speed limiter, lane departure warning, blind spot monitoring, rear cross traffic alert, and parking aid sensors with 4i rear view camera. Added for safety are seven SRS airbags, Anti-lock brake system with electronic brake force distribution, brake assist, electronic stability control, hill start assist and hill descent control, and five three-point emergency locking retractor seat belts. Both the Ford Ranger Wildtrak 4x4 and the Isuzu D-MAX LSE 4x4 signal that serious off-roaders also like comfort and convenience.
Introducing the all-new Isuzu D-MAX into new heights. Be it fine dining, a romantic garden wedding, a relaxed casual meal, or an important business event, Illustrado is the place to go. Aside from its famed paella, the Illustrado restaurant, which is located within the history-laden walled city of Intramuros, is also the favorite destination of food gourmands for its famous calios and lengua and other classic gustatory offerings. Illustrado restaurant, only for the foodies. GAC Motor Motul is the most trusted motor oil of the top teams competing in some of the world's most grueling race competitions. The WRC, the WTCC, and the Japan GT. Motul is the only 100% fully synthetic motor oil in the market. It has antioxidation properties that prevent premature thickening and aging due to thermal stress and guarantees total engine protection. For more information about Motul engine oils, visit www.motul.com.ph. Welcome back to Autofocus, the country's premier automobile news and features electronic magazine. Our special feature is next. Those who have been asking why Honda has been slow to bring in the turbocharged Civics should be happy following the arrival of the all-new model with an all-turbo variant line. Honda Civic has been one of our best-selling name freight here in the Philippines and of course worldwide. In line with Honda's vision of realizing a collision-free society, we are introducing the all-new 11th generation Civic equipped with Honda Sensing. この With the all-new Honda Civic, we accelerate greatness with this premium design and future-packed vehicle. Now with Honda Sensing, suite of advanced safety and driver-assistive technologies, all to serve the evolving needs of our customer here and around the globe. 
we invite you come visit Honda's virtual showroom at hondafield.com or any of our 37 Honda cars dealership nationwide and have a first-hand look at Honda's all-new Civic. It looks like Honda Cars Philippines is serious about returning the Civic to its glory days. I think my dad is secretly a superhero. He's the coolest, smartest, strongest person alive. No matter where we go, he always makes sure I feel safe. And he isn't afraid of anything. My dad likes to call that the power to lead. I call it his superpower. Sa mga tinik natin ngayon, iisa lang ang leader na magpapagaling sa ating mga sugar. Alam natin na kapag ang pinuno ay tapat, walang tiwali. Walang mang aapi, kahit sino ka man, patas ang laban. Sa pamilya, sa patang kabuhayan. Thank you po. Sabay-sabay po nating tuparen ang ating mga pangarap para maging kulay rosa sa ating bukas. Mitsubishi Strata Athlete, confident to the core. Welcome back. We have more cars for you to know and appreciate as we have our second car review this week. Looking for an entry-level compact sports sedan for just around 3 million pesos? Then, let's check out the BMW 318i Sport. There are entry-level sedans and there are entry-level compact sedans. Some are priced at around a million. Some are priced at thrice that price. So if you're in the upper bracket of entry-level compact sedans, perhaps the BMW 318i Sport is for you. It's 4,709mm long, 1,827mm wide, and 1,435mm tall. Those dimensions, just within compact sedan size, allow BMW to roll out a sedan that is sleek, squat, and looks race-ready. The latest 3 Series features another striking iteration of the signature BMW kidney grille and a distinctive headlamp design. The 318i Sport exterior features BMW's individual high-gloss shadow line and sport line packages, LED headlights with extended contents like rain sensors and automatic driving controls, LED fog lights and 18-inch bicolor light alloy wheels with V-spoke styling and yes, run-flat tires. Exterior features that make this 3 Series variant that much more convenient to drive are front and rear park distance control and rear view camera. The 318i Sport also features automatic tailgate operation for loading the 480 liter trunk, which comes with BMW's storage compartment package. The 318i Sport in theory speaks of both luxury and performance. There's ambient light automatic 3 zone air conditioning, interior trim finishes, velour floor mats, Sensatec upholstery for the seats. The driver and front seat passenger get sports seats that hug one comfortably on long drives or when pushing the vehicle at pace on switchbacks. The front seats can be adjusted electronically with memory function for driver. Beamers are a driver's car. One can tell from the dash and instrumentation. Everything is angled toward the driver. Controls are all within easy reach. The BMW's live cockpit comes with round analog dials for speedometer and tachometer and a 5.1-inch display as well as the 8.8-inch touch display. 
The 318i Sport also features BMW's iDrive system, which makes controlling secondary vehicle systems as well as the infotainment so much easier via a single control knob on the center console. Adding the convenience of driving the BMW 3 Series or multifunction controls on the steering wheel. Underneath the hood of the 318i Sport is BMW's twin power inline four cylinder gasoline engine with 1,998 displacement. The engine generates 156 horsepower from 4,500 to 6,500 revolutions per minute and 250 Nm of torque from 1,300 to 4,300 rpm. The engine drives the rear wheels via an 8 speed automatic transmission system with Steptronic function. Once starts and stops the engine with a push of a button, the 318i Sport brought to local shores comes with automatic start-stop function that automatically shuts and starts engine to minimize these time spent on idle like when waiting for the light to turn green at intersections. The BMW suspension system featuring McPherson struts in front and multi-link system in the rear is tuned to provide a smooth ride on well-paved surfaces and great handling at speed and on switchbacks. The BMW braking system provides great confidence and control in all driving conditions. It also comes with brake energy regeneration that charges the battery while braking. The Servotronic system makes steering quite effortless at slow speeds, while reducing steering assist to provide greater control at higher speeds. BMW's driver experience control system also allows the driver to adjust the driving dynamics of the 318i Sport. Cruise control with braking function also makes long drives and extra space all the more relaxing. Other cool features include the interior and exterior mirror package that automatically dims reflection so driver is not dazzled or blinded, especially by high beam headlights of other cars at night. Finally, adding to the convenience of driving the BMW 318i Sport is the parking assistant that lets the car park itself. The BMW 318i Sport made available locally comes with a slew of active and passive safety systems. These include airbags for driver and front passenger, front and rear head airbags, side airbag for driver and front passenger, side impact protection and Isofix child seat mounting. Other safety features include anti-lock braking system, dynamic stability control, dynamic traction control, electronic vehicle immobilizer, automatic locking, and crash sensor. The BMW 318i Sport is certainly worth checking out if one is looking for a truly luxury compact sport sedan. Know more about your car and how to take care of it here on Autopedia. Hi, this is Sydney, and today we'll talk about shock absorbers. So this is your vehicle shock absorber. As the name implies, it absorbs the shock of the bad roads that we have here in the Philippines. Now, old timers will ask you, and then, what is your shock? Mo? Fluid or gas? Wala nang fluid shock ngayon. They're all gas shocks. But here's the thing. Inside here is both gas and fluid. It's called gas shock because up here, there is pressurized nitrogen gas here. But the shock absorption is still done by oil. It's still a fluid. It's just that the old old shocks don't have any pressurized gas and it's just fluid. So now it's both gas and fluid. All shocks right now are like that. As you can imagine, this thing goes up and down to absorb the shock. This is actually called a McPherson strut, after named after the guy who invented it. So what that simply means is that there is a basso here where the spring sits. This bolts on to the axle and the hub and this bolts to the chassis. So the big question is, how do you know if sira na yung shocks mo? The easiest, fastest, and most sure way to find out, you have to take the shock out of the car to be able to tell if it's busted or not. So here we have two shocks. One is new, one is old. This one is busted, and I'll show you why. As you can see, it don't go up no more. Effectively, this thing is not absorbing any shock at all. And we compare it to a new shock. As you can see, it has to go up on its own and it has to go up pretty fast. If it doesn't go up this fast, it's also busted. Or dead or dying. New? Old. Dead. Alive. 
you may have heard the old school advice also. You make kalog kalog the car to see if the shocks are okay. That is also not true. And I'll show you why. We have several cars here to demonstrate. The old school wisdom is, if it does that, that the shock is okay. No, not necessarily. Because what you're doing is just pushing down on the spring and it just goes up. What makes the shock goes up is actually the spring. Then we have here another car. <laughs> it doesn't go up or down. So what does that mean? The shock is busted? No, it's not. BMs are really like that. That's why the handling is good. Uh, here we have a Fortuner. It bounces a lot more than the Ford Explorer. But is the shock dead? No, it's not. It's just really like that. <laughs> So that method doesn't really work. You cannot be certain if your suspension is good or bad just by doing the bounce test, no. Because every car behaves differently when you bounce it. So the only real way to know if your shock is good or bad is to have it taken out and then do the press test, what I just did. Ano magandang bilhin na shock? You can always, always buy OEM. You can go to the casa, buy whatever that they're selling, and then call it a day. It is, after all, the same spec as what you have. If you're looking for something cheaper, get one of these, KYB XLG. This is pretty much the same spec as the original shock, but of course at a cheaper price. And chances are, if you have a Japanese car, KYB has an application for it. So this is a front shock. This is a rear shock. This, I believe, is for a Honda Jazz. This, I believe, is for a Lancer. If you want to step up from something better, KYB also has this called a new SR Special. It looks exactly the same as the shock that's going to be taken out. The big difference is what's inside here. This one will actually give a better ride than what you have because, like I said, it's a shock absorber. It's better at absorbing the shock. And there are things that make it slightly better. A bigger and fatter shaft than the original one. The piston inside here is also better than the valving is also slightly different. And this one is built to take lowering springs if your ride is lowered. Because if you put lowering springs on a OEM shock, chances are in less than a year, your shock ain't gonna work no more as well. So might as well get a set of these. And for German cars, there's only one go-to brand. It's Bilstein, that's it. <laughs>